you fly Delta Airlines, you could soon breeze through airport check-in and security just by showing your face. That's right, the nation's first biometric airport terminal launches tomorrow in Atlanta. The system will allow passengers to go from curb to gate and onto the plane without showing any documents. But the new technology also raises privacy concerns. CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve reports from Atlanta. Face the camera, ma'am. Flyers are checking in to the future. Look right there for me. At Atlanta's International Terminal. Smile for the camera. Starting tomorrow, Terminal F will be the nation's first fully biometric airport experience, yeah, allowing passengers to just use their face at a kiosk to check bags at the counter, go through security. Sir, I'll get you right here. And even board flights. Anything to keep me from getting in the lines and time is time's money. The system takes a picture and compares it against a digital copy of a traveler's passport photo stored in a secure Customs and Border Protection database of people flying that day. Thank you. Thank you. It takes as little as two seconds. Speed wins, certainly from a customer viewpoint. Gil West is Delta's chief operating officer. Initially, it's for um, international flights from U.S. stations. I do see a future where this will be used for domestic flights. How big of a threat to people's privacy is this biometrics program? It's a massive threat, and I don't say that lightly. What the program is doing is making it commonplace to use your face as a digital ID. U.S. citizens can opt out of having the airline collect their photograph and transmit to CBP. John Wagner, Deputy Executive Assistant Commissioner at CBP, is the architect of the system. How well does the system work? We're seeing 98 to 99 percent match rates. CBP has been testing biometrics at 15 airports in the U.S. and three land border crossings. In the past few months alone, the system has caught at least 34 people trying to use someone else's passport to illegally enter the United States. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Atlanta.